Disgusting hosts on The View make twisted joke about Baron but they aren't laughing now, it should come as no great shock to anyone who frequents the internet that The View is a far cry from being a conservative view. They prefer to put themselves forth as the authority on everything tolerant and forward thinking, which of course, in their minds, leaves the conservatives in the dust. They've taken some pretty aggressive stances though that you'd be hard pressed to find a way to justify as being even humanitarian, much less tolerant. Not only do the regulars like to take cheap shots at the president, and his wife, and their marriage, and their kids, and their grandkids you get the idea, but they frequently invite guests to mix things up, so you can hear their twisted logic coming out of a different liberal's mouth. That was the case when they invited some new ladies to parrot their views out to the American people. This time though, they've pushed it too far when talking about the president's son, Baron, who was understandably traumatized by the awful representation of his father having been beheaded. Their cavalier attitude toward what was no doubt a horrible moment for a kid, whose life has already been turned upside down, is a great example of just how kind and caring these people really are. Via Monday Monday Network the ladies of The View seem to have a lot of pent-up anger issues. Especially when you consider their latest trash fest, where they saw fit to make fun of President Trump's 11-year-old son Barron. This poor child has been thrust into the limelight, but his parents have done everything they can to try to protect him. But that is a hard job when you have hateful liberals willing to target him just for their own amusement. And the amusement of their sheepish viewers of course. The hosts of the show were discussing Barron's reaction to seeing Kathy Griffin's vulgar photo of President Trump's bloody, severed head on television and that's when things got nasty. Former host, Star Jones, asserting Barron should be embarrassed by his reaction, told viewers that the child had a lot to be embarrassed about given who his father is. Our president though cracks me up when he says his son was upset. He has to remember I wonder how upset he was when he heard his father refer to the kinds of assaults that he would do on women or did they not talk about that? Jones added. Sadly, this isn't the first time The View has shared there. Back in April, hosts Joy Beer and Whoopi Goldberg completely trashed first daughter Ivanka Trump after she assumed an official role as advisor to the president. Surprisingly, the hosts did not defend Kathy Griffin's awful stunt, but then again, they didn't have to. They just brought in Jones to do their dirty work. Being unwillingly subjected to their continuous anti-Trump tirades is one thing, but mocking a child, a child who didn't ask to be in this position is just wrong. Going after someone you know can't fight back makes you a bully plain and simple. Doing it to a child, no matter who his parents are should be a hate crime. I get what they're saying, they're trying to point out that the president isn't perfect and I don't think anyone would disagree with that. However, I don't know a parent on earth who is proud of every single thing they've ever done and said. And some of us lay in bed at night hoping that our kids never know that we royally screwed up in our lives. President Trump had to give up on that hope when he put his life on display to run for president, and that's a sacrifice that he was willing and able to make. That is a far cry from a child being assaulted with the image of his dad being beheaded and shown off like some kind of trophy big game. A dad, who I might add, is in another city, not available for immediate comment, and doing his best to speak up for the rights that these same people used to make this horrible art. Also known as a vulgar display of their twisted minds. Justify it any way you want, but this was a terrible thing for a child to see, much less with a parent as the subject and anyone who thinks differently is too jaded to be leaned upon for wisdom in any respect whatsoever. Laugh if you want, but no child would see that without feeling sick. Source, Monday Monday Network. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.